All right, our next question here, we're going to find the vertex, focus, and directrix of this parabola. So the parabola is x plus 2 squared equals negative 12 times y plus 1. Now I have written a bunch of information about parabolas at the bottom. And you should be wondering, where did I get that from? I got a cheat sheet, it's our formula page, and this is what it looks like right here. It's found on near the top of the Moodle class. It's called formula page there. Here's a whole bunch of trig stuff. This is all the things I consider some of the hardest things to actually remember. These are quite complicated. Lots of them have fractions, negative signs, positive signs. Right down here is all the parabola forms. So how did I know it was the bottom? Let's look at this closely. All right. It was more complicated than the first two right here. So it's not the first two. Let's look at this one here. That's a y minus k squared. The second one is x minus h squared. Now we're gonna go back. You see how it says x, it's x plus two, but you can think of this as x minus negative two. That's the square part right there. So that's why I went with the last option right here. All right. So now that we have all this information written down, we didn't have to answer anything about axis of symmetry or where it's opening. So I'm gonna push that off the screen. That's not relevant for us. What did we uh, start with? We started with the equation. So what I'm gonna do is write our equation right below this equation. Just copying it exactly off the top. Okay, so right away I can tell k equals one. So we got k is taking the place of one, all right. Let's look at some other things here. All right, so I need to get negative h. So I need to force this to be a negative. There's an easy way to do that. We're going to subtract a negative. Normally, I would recommend you simplify the subtract a negative to what's here. But in this case, we're trying to fit it into that form exactly. The other thing we need to do, I see a negative 12, but I need to have 4 times a number. So what I'm going to do is factor a 4 out of negative 12, and what we're left with is negative 3. If that's tricky to see, just think negative 12 is 4a, and I want to solve for a, so I divide both sides by 4, and I got negative 3 is a. So you see that negative 3 right there. All right, copy down y minus 1. So we're ready to write down all the letters here, all these constants. So first up, we'll go left to right. So we got minus h. So that means h is negative 2. And if this is tricky because there's an extra negative, just think, I want to know what is h. What's right there? What's subtracted? That's subtracted. So that's why h is negative 2. Next up, we already looked at a, so that should be pretty obvious. a is negative 3. And the last part right here, what's k? k is 1. So that was pretty straightforward right there. All right, once we have h, a, and k, we can go over and look at the other properties. So the vertex is h, k, so the vertex is negative 2, comma, 1. The focus is negative 2 is h. Now I got a plus k, negative 3 plus 1. Directrix, y equals negative a, so it's negative negative 3 plus one, and we'll just simplify these down. Negative three plus one is negative two. The directrix, we got negative negative three, which is positive three plus one is four. So there's all three pieces, vertex, focus, directrix, and you can take those and boom, put them in right there. So it's just super important to know your form. And of course, this one's tricky, so I recommend go to the cheat sheet. It'll be a lot more straightforward where everything comes from.